What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Glamora on the rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, a huge shout out to all my subscribers. You guys help me grow as a content creator and it really goes a long way. But Glamora is a brand new Pokemon introduced in Scarlet and Violet and it has a brand new ability, Toxic Debris, which I think is a really cool ability. If you do not know what it does, every time this Pokemon gets hit by a physical attacking move, it sends Toxic Spikes over to the opposing opponent's field so that's gonna be really cool to get off maybe in like turn one so every other pokemon that they send out is going to get poisoned and take a good amount of damage but we can get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only murkrow and murkrow i think has been the most used pokemon in the rank ladder ever since this game has came out it has prankster it has evo light as item and it's rocking a fairly normal moveset of tailwind foul play haze and taunt Second Pokemon is going to be Rotom Wash, and I love this Pokemon due to its typing. It is electric and water. It is only weak to grass because it cannot be hit by ground moves due to its due to its ability to levitate. It's got choice specs as item, and then a great move set of Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, and Discharge for its four moves. Third Pokemon is going to be Gardevoir, and I'm glad I'm getting to see Gardevoir on the rank ladder a lot more because it's a very strong Pokemon, and I absolutely love its typing of Psychic and Fairy. It has telepathy as its ability, and then it has the focus sash as item, imprison and trick room to counter trick room teens, and then dazzling gleam and psychic for two stab hitting moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that Glamora over here. We talked about it a little bit, but let's go more in depth with it. It has toxic debris as its ability, like we already mentioned, and then we're rocking the assault vest as its item to make it bulkier on that special defense side. It has power gem, it has sludge bomb, with our which are both of its stab moves, and then it's got energy ball and earth power. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the one and only my boy Gary the Gyarados over here with Intimidate and the Clear Amulet as its item. That's EQ, Waterfall, Dragon Dance, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be our Life Orb Pokemon and that is going to be Rough Skin Garchomp over here. Garchomp is absolutely amazing, taking over the meta as per usual and this move sets pretty solid but I would only change one thing. It has Earthquake, it has Dragon Claw, it has Rock Slide and Protect. I would want to change that Rock Slide to Sword Dance, just make this Pokemon a little bit better and if it could set up, it makes this Pokemon 10 times stronger. But guys, there's the team preview. If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Glamora team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a really cool Skull Villain team right here. He has Skull Villain, uh, Torkoal, Arm Rouge, who can pop Trick Room, Miascarada, who can pop Trick Room, and then he's got Cerulech and Intidi. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? I want to see Glamora stats. I've never used this Pokemon before, and I really want to see this thing. Look at it. The thing's sick. Look at its little eyes. <laughs> its eyes are hilarious. It's decent speed. Its special attack is really solid, actually. And uh, its HP set's good as well. I'm really liking this Pokemon. I'm really liking this. I kind of want to lead it. I do kind of want to lead it, but we do have to watch out for, like, uh, ground moves. She doesn't have any ground-type Pokemon, so I'm all about this. I'm going to go Kulamora as lead. Um, I could go you as a lead. I mean, we do have to watch out for Mental Herb, but I think we're fine here. I mean, if he goes Indeedy, that's a little tough, which I can definitely see happening. I could definitely see Indeedee actually rolling out here and getting after it. Let me see uh, your your moves. You have Earth Power, your Power Gem. Okay, so no double hitting moves. I think I'm going Gardevoir here with the Sash. I'm liking that with Glamora, and then we will bring Garchomp, and I think Gyarados in the back end. Garchomp and Gary? Can't go wrong with it. Obviously, I would want to go into Murkrow, but the reason I'm not going into Murkrow is if he leads Indeedee, the Psychic Terrain takes off every all of our first turn prior to me. so we can't taunt any pokemon so i'm gonna i'm gonna say that they're leading indeedy and we're gonna go for the read here because the easy play for our opponent would be either go indeedy arm rouge or indeedy masquerada follow me out and kind of go from there and that's why i'm bringing gardevoir just so i can pop a nice little uh nice little what is what is that move called uh dazzling gleam but he has a wind torkoal and skull villain which uh is too bad here it's a drought cooking. I do have Focus Sash ready to go. Um, I could Power Gem, which I think I'm just going to throw. I think I'm just throw a Power Gem. It is Stab. Super effective. I can go into a Psychic. Um, I don't think Skull Villain learns Trick Room. And plus, another reason I would lead the Gardevoir is just to imprison the Trick Room. It's a, it would be a simple play, too. But uh, I do have Psychic. Uh, I think we have to double. I'm not going to double down Torkoal. I'm actually just going to uh, split shots here. Skull Villain's going to go for a Solar Beam. That's a little scary. Can you go after my Gardevoir, please? Can you please go after my Gardevoir and leave my, uh, my Glamour? Okay, no, you hit my Glamour. That's fine. No Toxic Debris comes out here. 
We want to get hit by a physical attack move, which sucks, but we're doing a nice amount of damage with that psychic. And power jump's gonna fly here. This stab is super effective. Oh, Glamora. Oh, Glamora. I love you so far. What a lovely lady. What a lovely lady getting in that Torkoal. That's solid right there. That's solid. We saw Focus Ash rolling out with our Gardevoir. I'm really liking where we're sitting. Yo, Glamora looks sick. What even is that? That's like an ancient flower, right? It's only found in the, uh, in, uh, Ground Zero, right? I just really like that Pokemon. Masquerade is gonna fly here. We are going to have to drop a lovely little, uh, I think we double down into slot. Or I can get rid of School Villain. Hmm. But Miascarada is a problem. The point is a problem. The problem is I think he's going to Terrasize in Dark. But I still think we double down because it could be a Sash Pokemon. I'm trying to Gleam here. I'm trying to go for that Gleam. Let's do it. He is going to Terrasize. I, I knew it. The Terrasization does happen here. Straight Dark type? Straight Grass? What are you going for? Usually it's one or the other. Straight Grass. I'm cool with that. I have Sludge Bomb flying in here as well. So... I feel like we should be able to pick up KO unless he attacks my Glamora with that. Spicy Extract coming in hot here. That's going to boost that thing's attack. That's sick. But lower its defense. That's a really cool move. Gleam's going to fly here, though. Doing some damage to Skull Villain. Doing some damage to Miascarada. And he's going to go for Flower Trick. Go in the Gardevoir, please. Is that Gardevoir? Please go in the Gardevoir. Awesome. I focus Ash on this thing. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Because Glamora's dropping a big time Sludge Bomb into that uh, Miascarada. Sludge Bomb coming in hot. It's stab. Get on out of here, yo. I'm loving this Pokemon. I'm loving this Pokemon. Even though we haven't uh, triggered the uh, Toxic Debris yet, I'm totally fine. And even if they trigger it now, it's not going to do anything because they can't swap in and out. But still, this Pokemon hits like a truck. One, what was it? 194? On a special attacking set? That's incredibly high. I'm loving that. So we still have Terrasalization. I feel like we just have to go and take out you, right? Or I can just go Power Gem. Power Gem will rip into you. And I could Gleam, but there's no point. I have fast Pokemon in the back end. Or I was going to say, I could Trick Room. But I'm just going to go for a Psychic. If he, if he lets me land it onto the Skull Villain, the Skull Villain dies. He goes for a Spicy Extract. Boosts this thing's attack again. And he's going after Glamora. All right, I get the Psychic off. And if you don't take out my Glamora, it's GG's. Could be a Glamora sweep. That would be awesome. Let's see. It's Rule Edge. Take out my... Uh... Oh, I would speed you. Glamora's going to take you out. Oh no, free focus ash. No, we lose our sweep because of that. That hurts the soul. We lose our sweep to a free focus ash. But yo, Glamora's doing absolute work. Picked up two KOs, right? Dumped on the Miascarada, dumped on the Torkoal. And there goes my Toxic Debris. So we get we got to see that in action. Pretty cool move, but it's not gonna do anything due to the uh due to him not having any other Pokemon in the back end. But I'm gonna bring out its worst nightmare. I'm gonna bring out Garchomp and I'm just pop an EQ and it's gonna be GG's. No problem. No problem. I could have brought out Gyarados. Gyarados would have been a little bit better because uh, it is physical attacking. And we would have intimidated it. But it, does, but it did have the uh, clear amulet, so intimidate would have done nothing. Drew Ledge goes for Shadow Sneak. It takes out my Guard Warp. Again, it does not matter. It do not matter. It do not matter. <laughs> EQ flying out of your stab. Super effective. It's Rule Edge. Get on out my game. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A win in battle number one. Let's hop through a second battle. Look to showcase Glamora a little bit more. Second battle coming at you guys. Going up against a mouse holding gold to go team with Garchomp, Gyarados, and then he has Rotom Lawnmower form, so the grass type. And then he has the uh, Town Flame, which is an easy Tailwind center. So, how should I play this one? How should I go into it? He has a few physical attackers with the uh, Garchomp, the mouse hold, and the Gyarados, and the Town Flame. So, I might want to leak Glamora. I like Glamora. Glamora has a great moveset as well. So I'm loving Glamora. I'm going to end up leading that Pokemon. And I might even go into Murkrow here. Just to counteract Tailwind if he wants to go into Tailwind. I just think it's a smart play. We can kind of roll off from there and get after the battle. So I'm going to go Murkrow. Murkrow, Glamora has a nice lovely lead. Uh, Gyarados could be solid here. I do like Gyarados. So I'm going to bring Gyarados. And then last but not least, either Gardevoir or Garchomp. They both have their value. That's the thing. They both have their value, but I'm leaning a bit more towards Gardevoir because it's going to be super effective onto that Garchomp. But it is weak to the Golden Go. That's my problem. Because, like, Golden Go is probably coming in here, so I think Garchomp might be your play. This Garchomp is super effective on the Garchomp. We just need to outspeed, and it is super effective onto that Golden Go. Let me see your speed. 169. Are you Jolly? You are Jolly. So that's as fast as we can get. I'm kind of down on the rock with Garchomp. I feel like the only Pokemon that can really one-shot our Garchomp is going to be his Garchomp. And we are max speed, so if he's max speed, 
it's going to be a speed tie. So I'm going to rely on RNG if that's the case. I'll take Garchomp all day. Garchomp's just too good. But we're getting Glamora back out here. Glamora rocked out in match number one. We're hoping to get those Toxic Debris rolling early. We'll see who he wants to lead. Let's see. Talonflame and Rotom. Okay. I mean, I can throw a Sludge Bomb right in that slot. That's what I'm all about. He can Thunderbolt my Murkrow. I'm all about this. I think I just Sludge Bomb you, right? I feel like you're a bigger problem. I'm going to Sludge Bomb you. And I'm just going to pop a nice, lovely Tailwind. Actually, you're not faster. You're not faster. No no need to taunt. No need to taunt. We're just going to Tailwind. No need to Tailwind. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's going to Terrasilize. Maybe the Talon. It could be either or. I'm super effective up against both. No, it's going to be this little booger. Stay Grass. Electric. So he goes straight Electric. Okay, you're going to go after my Murkrow. Take out my Murkrow. Not a big deal. Talonflame's probably popping a Tailwind, correct? I'm going to pop a Tailwind. So as long as my Murkrow gets off his Tailwind before he goes out, I think it's a solid turn from us. Yeah. So Tailwind, Tailwind. We are dropping a Sludge Bomb. Do we outspeed that Rotom? Lamora, you do not. So Thunderbolt is going to fly here. You're saying bye-bye to Murkrow. That's totally fine. Oh, no. Murkrow ate. Murkrow ate it. My dog. Murkrow ate and Glamour is getting off some big damage. This thing's going to pop a Citrus Berry. And if I had to go into a move, I think I just Power Gem that Talonflame out, right? Power Gem you. And then I could just go into... Mm, what do I do? Probably Foul Play. Just, just throw a Foul Play, I guess. I wonder what one of them is going for. Brave Bird's going to fly here. Probably into Murkrow. Yeah, so you take out Murkrow. The more should be able to eat up whatever shot they have. And we should be able to take out the uh, the Talonflame, no problem. Yeah, Talonflame's gone. That's four times super effective. Glamora's doing so much work. But it is going to have to try to soak up this uh, lovely Thunderbolt, which is kind of scary. This one is kind of scary. And I think it should be able to, considering Murkrow ate it up. So you should be able to soak pretty well. Gets a crit, too. Kind of hurts soul. But it is good to know that we outspeed that Pokemon. We're going to go into Garchomp from here. And we might have to double down to that road time. Because we know my Gyarados is not surviving anything. Golden Go is going to fly here. I think this is a safe EQ chance. Do we just EQ? I really want to EQ. I really want to EQ. But Glamour does outspeed. I could go into an Earth Power here. This sucks because I need to get rid of that road time. I'm just gonna look for the flinch here. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna look for the flinch. What does more damage? <laughs> this will do more damage. I'm gonna look for the flinch. I think Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide and Sludge Bomb should be able to pick up the KO. What's your, what's your terror type? It's gonna be ground. Uh, I'm gonna save the Terrasilization just in case uh, this Rotom's still here. I can change into what's called if need be. Gyarados. He's gonna end up hard swapping into Garchomp of his own. I don't mind that too much. Again, if we can win this win the sweet tie, we should be fine. Oxide's gonna fly here. Can Sludge Bomb take out? I believe it should be able to. Lamora's a Lamora's a tough customer. Sludge Bomb flying. Lamora, I love you. You're my best friend. Dude, this Lamora is ripping. The only, the only problem that we have with it so far is we're not getting the toxic to breeze out. And I think we could proc it, but I just don't think there's a point. This thing is phenomenal. And it poses that threat. Just having the Toxic to Breeze as his ability makes people not want to hit this Pokemon. And then it just starts steamrolling through it with shots. But uh, from here, I just want to go for an Earth Power. I'm going to look to win the Speed Tie. I'm going to look to win the Speed Tie. Yep, I win the Speed Tie. See you later. Good game. Lamore ripping. Garchomp coming in the back end. Oh, we get a crit too. Sorry to hear about that. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss, Garchomp. <laughs> the crit loss. Awesome. Lamore should go next. Pop a nice little Earth Power. <laughs> this thing's incredible. Earth Power comes in high here. Brings it down the red. And it should be able to eat up whatever Golden Go has to offer. Actually, maybe not to make it rain. Yeah, no. Oh, it's super effective on the Gold More. My fault. I keep forgetting it's Rock type. I was going to say, it's Assault Vest. But still, you take out both those Pokemon. Thriving. We have Gary the Gyarados in the back end. Which outspeeds you. Your special attack is low. If I had to guess your choice or something. And the Tailwinds are gone on both sides. Light work. Light work. And I'm, I'm going to Thrasilize to ground... Just in case. And the reason I want to Terrasilize in the ground is because I know that Golden Ghost can learn Thunderbolt. So if that's the case, I really don't want to lose to a four times super effective move. I would rather just Terrasilize and play this one safe. So that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. We're going to play it safe and guarantee you guys a winning record for today's video. Which is awesome. Which is really, really cool. Especially because Glamora, like, we're fully using Glamora. We're not just using it here and there. We're leading it and dominating and just dumping on Pokemon left and right. 
to absolutely love. But EQ outspeeds with her Gyarados, and I'm going to say bye-bye to you. GG, good game, 2-0 for today's video. Final match coming at you guys for today's video. Going up against a Palmot team. I absolutely love Palmot. I love its new move, Revival Blessing. But our opponent also has some very strong Pokemon on our team with Miascarada, Dragapult, Golden Ghost, Sylveon, and Mousehold. I might lead Glamora again. I am absolutely loving this Pokemon. If they want to fake out my Glamora, that would be fine. We could pop the Toxic Debris because we know Palmot does want to fake out. So I am going to go into Glamora. I'm loving this Pokemon too much not to use it. So I'm going to go Glamora. Um... Do you have any Trick Room Setters? Miascarada could be a Trick Room Setter. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Do I just want to go into Gardevoir in that case? And throw Murkrow maybe for later usage? I really like that. Glamora Gardevoir. I'm really liking that. As long as he doesn't like Golden Go. Right, Golden Go could be a small, slight problem. But I don't think you lead Golden Go. I just don't think you got the Moxie to do it. I'm going to bring Murkrow in the back end just for Tailwind later usage. And then Chomp could be your play. Chomp could be a play. If we go up against a Sylveon, we could just uh, go into straight ground type. And the ground type really rips into a lot of these Pokemon. I'm with it. I'm with the Chomp here. I'm all about the Chomp. Did we not use Rotom today? We have not used Rotom today. But you guys seen plenty of Rotom. I'm not going to worry about using using a Pokemon that you guys seen on the channel before. If it was Glamora and we were in the third and final battle and we did not showcase it yet, obviously I would get out that Pokemon. But this is our play right now. We have to go into Guard Chomp. I also want to get you guys a winning, uh, perfect record. I feel like I haven't got a perfect record in a good bit. We've been grabbing a lot of winning records. A lot of 2 and ones on the channel as of recently. But we're looking for the perfect record. Two physical attackers, which I absolutely love. One of you guys have to hit Lamora, right? Absolute must, right? One of you guys have to hit Lamora. And you know what? I kind of just want to get rid of this thing so he does not just start revival blessing all over the place. And I'm just going to go for the Gleam. It's a nice level Gleam. He's got to fake out my... He's got to fake out my Gardevoir, right? Yeah, you had to fake out my Gardevoir. I saw that coming from a mile away. You are going to take out my Gardevoir, which isn't too bad. Nothing special attacking, so. Which was physical. I need somebody to hit up on my Glamora. Please let me get the Toxic to Breeze out here. Earth Power gonna fly here. Bop. Bring that thing in. Just KO it instantly. Okay, I'll take that turn all day. Glamora hits way too hard. Because now I can bring out my lovely Murkrow. He can't fake it out. I'm digging it all day. And I wonder what Pokemon he's going to bring out next. It's going to be Mousehold. So Mousehold's going to come out here. Uh, bu 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 bum. Obviously, I want to pop the lovely Tailwind. And then it's either Power Jam or Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb does a bit more damage, so I would rather go into a Sludge Bomb. But the problem would be, do we think he's going to go for Follow Me? He might. I could just straight Fat Boy, but I'd rather set up a Tailwind this turn. So you know what? We're going to go into... Sludge Bomb into the Mousehold slot. And we'll just Tailwind so we can foul play next turn. I'm with it all day. So Tailwind comes out and about. Our Murkrow back end play is working phenomenally. We get the Tailwind out. And Glamour's going to pop a nice lovely Sludge Bomb. Right over in the Oh my. Stop it. You got. You have to stop. Glamour, you have to stop. <laughs> Taking a nice chunk of damage. Population Bomb going to come out here. And we're going to say bye bye to Murkrow. <laughs> just getting beast up. Can you hit my Glamour with a physical attacking shot? Yo, chill on me. Chill on me. That's ridiculous. At least Murkrow got off the tailwind. I really, I really dig that. I really do dig that. Um, Who's faster? Glamour's not faster than, than Garchomp, right? No, it's not. But we have to bring out Garchomp here. I want to Terrasilize and potentially bring out a Pop and EQ. Be my best play. I think I'm going to have to Terrasilize regardless, right? Glamour does not have Protect, which is a huge problem. His is a problem. Um, hmm. Rather power gem into this thing and then just terrestrialize and dragon claw. Really want to pop an EQ, but that's not going to be our play. Because he's probably going to go for the follow me, but if I had to guess. So terrestrializing is going to be our play. Just in case he follows me and we can't carry the dragon bolt, he can't just one shot my guard chomp with the Draco Meteor. So I'll go to terrestrialize here. We still have Tailwind for, uh, I think, two more turns after this one. Yeah, I think it's two more turns after this one. He's going to end up protecting the mouse hole. That's totally fine. And Dragon Claw is going to fly here. KO this thing. We love it. We love it. We love it. But yeah, all three of these battles, Glamora's been out here doing absolute work on. 
everybody. But the problem is nobody wants to hit this thing with a physical attack and move. Nobody wants to pull out the Toxic Breeze. But that's a problem on top of that. Is if you're not hitting this thing and KOing it, it is going to shred through your team. Its special attacking is way too high. And it's just doing a crazy amount of damage. But he ends up bringing out Sylveon as his final Pokemon. Maybe just throw a Sludge Bomb into that. Really want to EQ. I really want to EQ. I'm going to say that maybe it doesn't... It is super effective. Mm, hate this game. I really don't like this game. Um, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to take out the mouse hole here. No need for population bombs to come out onto the field. Plus, it can't protect, so... It goes for follow me. It goes for follow me. This is going to end up terrestrializing into... What typing? What typing are you? Kind Sylveon. Water typing. I've been seeing a lot of water typings for this Pokemon come out here. And I do have Energy Ball on my Glamora, which I absolutely love. Huge place for us. Dragon Claw is going to fly. I'm going to say bye-bye to you. And now it comes down to a 2v1. And this is going for a Hyper Voice. Could potentially be, right? I just need, I just need you eating Glamora. I know Garchomp can eat it up. I just need Glamora maybe eating up a shot. Solid damage. Give me poison. We get the poison, yo. Glamora is so strong. It's so strong. Terrible ass coming in here. That should say... You could be going after this. Almost. Let's go after Glamora. Yeah, Glamora's dead. And that's not too bad. I mean, I could freely EQ. I mean, I can freely Dragon Claw too. That's solid. We got the poison shipping up. And I feel like... Nah, even if this thing protects, it doesn't matter. But EQ is going to be our strongest move, right? Actually, is it not very effective? No, it's neutral. Beautiful. So yeah, EQ is going to be our strongest move. And we're just going to roll into it. It's going to be GG's, right? That's no problem. That's no problem win. That's a GG good game. Get it on out of here, Sylveon. Don't need you here. Do not need you here. Amazing perfect record for today's video. Got to use Glamora in all the battles. And I'm pretty sure I picked up like two plus KOs in every single battle. I'm super surprised that this is my first time seeing slash using Glamora on the rank ladder. This Pokemon is absolutely amazing. It is pretty fast. It has amazing special attack, which is super, super high. Its HP stat is great. And then paired up with the Assault Vest makes this Pokemon 10 times bulkier. Glamora just went out in all three battles, dominating, picking up some big, big time KOs. And I'm just still wondering why this Pokemon is not being used a lot more in rank battles. But we got to use the Murkrow. We got to use the Gardevoir. We got to use the Gyarados and the Garchomp. Every Pokemon besides the Rotom. And this team really proved itself to be one of a top tier teams on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.